Hello Absurda fans and welcome back to the Manor Bar. Continuing our mini-series of Borderlands gun manufacturers, we are approaching the end. I thought there was only one left. Turns out I was wrong, there are two. I completely forgot about one. But we're gonna go with possibly the cream of the crop today. The absolute best from Borderlands 1. Atlas. Atlas guns were rarer than all the other manufacturers' guns in the first Borderlands game. They had increased damage and increased fire rate, but without sacrificing any of the other stats, making them very, very effective guns. Now, Atlas were a huge company. They had their own army, the Crimson Lance, which you did fight during the game. And in the DLC, you got to explore the history of Atlas a bit more with the General Knox DLC. You play your way through that DLC and you defeat General Knox, and so we don't see Atlas in Borderlands 2. We can assume that they were both chased off by your actions in the first game, as well as Hyperion coming in, muscling everyone else out of dr like mining operations and such. But when they were on Pandora, they were some of the best guns in the game, and so to really celebrate how great Atlas guns were, we're gonna make this a real classy drink. This is gonna be great. Because Atlas guns were so good, we're gonna class it up, and Atlas deserves a martini glass. So get yourself one of these for the Atlas cocktail. We're also gonna use the finest ingredients, some nice scotch and some southern comfort. And because Atlas use red in most of their color schemes, for example, the Crimson Lance, they're not exactly we're going to use some grenadine to help colour this. You're also going to want to pick up a lemon, because this is going to be used as a garnish. We're not going to be squeezing any juice into it, but we are going to be using it to make it just that little bit more fancy. And we're going to grab our cocktail shaker to really get this stuff all mixed in together and lovely and smooth. So, let's get to mixing. So, we're going to start off with one measure of your scotch. We're then going to follow that up with two measures of Southern Comfort. And then you're going to put in a dash of your old grenadine to try and colour it a nice crimson colour. Now get your top on, hold it firmly and give it a damn good shake together. And then it's time to pour our lovely concoction into your martini glass. Now for the garnish we're going to get our lemon and then we're going to peel gently around the lemon to create a twirl of lemon. Not like one of those really fancy twirls that you see in fancy drinks. Atlas deserves one of these, so let's give it a go. I've not done this before, so I'm hoping it doesn't turn out awfully. <laughs> and there we have it with its fancy little lemon twirl. I think we are done. This is the Atlas cocktail. It's fancy and hopefully very, very delicious. So. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That is smooth. That is lovely. This is one that you take your time with. This is great. Mmm, it's really, really good. And the grenadine helps it not be too bitter, which is great for me, but it's also just absolutely delicious. The little lemon twist gives it just a little teeny hint of citrusy flavour, but I really like this, and it is definitely one to take your time with. You do not want to glug this down, because this will get you drunk. And that is the Atlas Cocktail. It's powerful, it's tasty, it's smooth, it's classy, it's the best of all worlds, just like Atlas Guns. So that's your Atlas Cocktail. Try one of these out for yourself and let me know how it goes. And also let me know if you know how to do a uh, twirl a bit better than this. I had to finagle this a bit, but we got it to work eventually. And now we actually have two more videos to go in this series. There was just going to be the one, but I forgot about one weapons manufacturer. So. We are going to do that next, and then the super special end of this little mini-series. So, tune in next time for another Borderlands gun manufacturer cocktail. I've been Rich Perry, and this is the Manabar. Cheers.